YouTubers, YouTubers, YouTubers. What's good? What's good? Shut up. God damn. It's your boy Kyle. Red Mike Radio. Once here again with a great podcast. In cities like in cities like New York City, where I'm from, and Chicago, Dallas, Texas, Vegas, you know, mainly in mainly in uh fast cities, I'll say. There's a large portion there's a large um amount of violence amongst mainly mainly black men and women why is that why is that let's talk about it i'm gonna say this directly because in life We'll wait. So rude. So rude. The damn horn outside. Now, um, as I was saying, Everything God created obeys a nature and a law. The key words are law and obey. We live in a culture where uh, we are taught that men and women are the same. And unfortunately, we're not. We're very different. I know saying that is very unpopular. You can't even prove it. But men and women are different. How we communicate, how we think, how we feel, we are different. And you know what? It's okay. That's what God intended. The man by nature is the head, and she is by nature the heart. The heart and the head are in the same body, in the same house, the same church, but they operate differently. I'll say it again. The head and the heart are in the same body, but they operate differently. The head and the heart are equal, but they're equal in different directions. Now, I'll say this. In the homes today, and right now in our culture, in black culture, eight out of 10 black women are single mothers. Why? We don't know. Maybe maybe he's a deadbeat dad. Maybe he's a loser. Maybe her mouth ran him off. Wherever it is, most black men are not in our homes helping raising our children. Listen carefully. I didn't, say, I didn't say all. Listen carefully. If it don't apply, let it fly. Most black men today are not in our homes helping taking care of our children. That is fact. Why? We don't know. If you're a black man doing it, more power to you. I applaud you. Don't attack me. Okay? And the women by nature are emotional creatures. That's how they are. They don't always think. They feel. 
And but a woman's raising kids by herself. In any area, suburban or urban areas, she's by nature resentful and frustrated. At who? The male. That's nature. Anytime in life, the female mammal got to go out in the world and um, get food, provide, protect. By nature, she's hostile towards the male mammal. That is fact. And given the fact, and, and I know that me saying this is out of place, but I do understand that both of our women were abused a kind of way, sexually, emotionally, by some kind of family. And most of all, most of our women today were raised with no father in the house. That is fact. So when our women are taken advantage of sexually, emotionally, and raised in a house with no father at home, how to deal the man properly, she don't know how. Black men, when you're raised without a father at home yourself, how to deal with her properly, you have no clue how. And once again, everything God created obeys a nature and a law. It's in her nature to be honored, cherished, protected, and respected. And most of all, heard and understood. That's how it is. As a man, ladies, he has something called testosterone and an ego. A big one of that. So you as a young woman, raised with no father in home, had talked to your husband, you don't know how. I'll say this, that the violence in a home can be prevented with proper communication. Her ladies, I'm going to say this. Okay. Because you were taught that your power is your booty, your breasts, your eyelashes, sisters, black and white. Your power is in your mouth. It is. Your mouth can cut him up and shatter him. And ladies, your tongue, your tongue, whether you do it on purpose or by accident, your tongue can, can, can make a man want to kill you. I'll say it again. Your tongue can make a, can make a man want to kill you. This is why in the old days, if you were a young girl, you went to a charm school so you can learn how to be feminine for a man. Okay, not be beneath the man because he's your equal. I'm saying, you know, charm school teaches you how to deal with his head properly. How to talk to him, how to soothe him, how to calm him down. Because I find that nowadays, most of you don't know how to do that. Most of you don't. You don't. You know? Uh, black men, I'm coming back to you. Not all, not all, not all. But if it applies, then 
it's you. Women by nature require us to be productive, produce, provide, and protect. Which some of us don't. Some of us don't. And when a man is living with a woman, and he's not productive. She pays all she pays all the bills. By nature, she resents you. And by nature, when a woman is resentful of a man, she would demean you, cuss you out, and show you all kinds of bad behavior towards you. And ladies, when you do that towards to, to his ego, to his fragile ego, that invokes and provokes violence out of him. It does. Now, him hitting you is wrong. Him hitting you is dead wrong. But in life, no one will do or say anything to you that you don't invite. I'll say it again. No one will do or say anything to you that you don't invite them to do. That's how it is. So the best way to end the violence in the home is both parties have to be heard and understood. Communication. It, it, it's no, um, uh, what's wrong? Nothing, figure it out. No, no. Both of you must sit down like civilized human beings and both of you express how you really feel. Because if not, he'll be angry and so will you. So will you. And ladies, I tell you this. In most cases, not all, but in life, what's done once is done again usually. What's done once is often done again. So meaning, if a man hits you once, okay, eight times out of 10, the eight twenty rule, eight times out of 10, he'll do it again. If he hits you again, two things. You either leave him or you two get counseling. Because by nature, every man is violent. Every man is violent. And black men, it's our job to control our emotions. It's our job to control our emotions in the household. Can you as a man imagine a day you push your wife on the floor or she on the floor and she bumps her head and dies and your kids gotta say your kids gotta say my daddy killed my mommy who wants to hear that nobody no child no child want to say that male or female The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that you, 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 you educate a man, blah, blah, blah. you educate a man, you educate a man. Educate a woman, you educate a nation. Ladies, you are key. You bear our children. You're powerful.
very powerful and beautiful. But I want you to, to understand how I deal with your mate properly. And I know that we live in a culture where some of you were taught that bad behavior is called strength and it's not. It's not. It's not. That behavior will get you either abandoned or beat up. It will. It's time for black men and women to start um, improving how we get along. Because right now, we don't. If 8 out of 10 black women in America are single moms, we don't. She blames him, he blames her. We don't get along at all. And I find over the years that, I find over the years that, you know, that no one taught us how to get along. It's not taught in the church. It's not taught at home. It's not taught in schools. You know, and on TV, there's no form for it. There's no form for it. At all. And I know for a fact, um, in the 80s, when the CIA poured drugs in our community, my elders who were 20 then, who are now 50, you know, they were on drugs then. So some people, so my elders now were on, on drugs. So they don't know. It, so they don't know. So many years, the black race had no blueprint of how to get along. We don't. So, I'll close by saying this. The violence in, in black homes must stop. It must. Because see, we as blacks have trauma, male and female. Because I know for a fact that any man who, who, who was abusive towards his wife or his girlfriend, in most cases, you know, he had a mom who abused him. Because I know for a fact, even in my own hood, you know, uh, in the 80s and 90s, you know, some young, you know, some young black boys, you know, had a mom who was a, a crackhead, a stripper, and, you know, and she abused him. Because I know for a fact that when a woman was raising kids by herself, and those kids are boys, she abused those boys, you know, verbally, all kind of way. You ain't shit. You like you ain't, ain't shit. You ain't shit like your father. He, he he's no good like his damn daddy. Those are things that boys without fathers in home hear from black females. Not at all. Not at all. Not all. Not all. And for our young black girls, when there's no father there for the girl to protect her, she's open to be sexually abused by mom's ex-boyfriend. So, you know, she hates black men and he hates black women. So what happened is, you know, like attract like. He's broken and so is she. We all fucked up, male and female. Male and female. We all screwed up. We are all screwed up. We need therapy. We do. Yeah.
the damn star, I'm telling you. Well, anyway, um, I'm catch you later. Leave me in the comments down below. Uh, press like, click subscribe right over here, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Keep your hands to yourself, both y'all. One.